Hello everybody, my name is Walter and welcome to the season breakdown of um, The Good Place. Uh, okay, so season 1 was all about uh, Eleanor coming to The Good Place. But uh, she finds out, uh, she knows rather, that she is not really a good person and she doesn't belong there. But the twist is she wants to learn to be good so she searches for uh, TD which is an ethics professor and then she uh, and then they find out that Jan Yu is also not a good person he is uh, Jason who is a bit of a doofus and uh, then Tahani is more of the person who uh, who didn't or rather didn't or well never got the recognition she wanted. She has a lot of recognitions, but she didn't get the one she wanted, which was her family's, uh, which is very normal uh, amongst the Asian types as well. Um, so yeah, I I really really enjoy the series because it is mainly about ethical stuff. Um, number one is a lot of the moral stuff. Uh, how do we know that a person is truly truly good? Because if let's say you do one bad thing that is consequential does it mean that you don't deserve a place in a good place or does that mean that you know you don't deserve a place in heaven whatever you want to believe in um, and what if you are a bad person but you know decided to change and, and wanted to and wanted to be better and saw the error of your way would that be enough for you to go to heaven that's for example scrooge right or, or um other charles dickens stories uh would that be an effect uh, a ripple to say that you know it is better to be good later on in life than never to have been good at all would it have changed if 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 Adolf Hitler per se would have stopped uh, before uh, before uh, invading Russia, who knows? But I see that is the whole crux of the story. Why why do we need to be uh, good or what is good? Uh, because the the road to evil is paved with good intentions. That is that is an uh, ethical crux of some of the worst people in history um you know like adolf hitler he did want to fix uh the um, the roads and he fixed germany essentially he did it he did fix germany and he did put germany in a place where it would be able to sustain it because a lot of people forget that germany was on the brink of bankruptcy if it wasn't for Adolf, I don't know what would have happened to Germany. Would it have not been in existence? Maybe. We don't know. But that's the the reason history exists for us to keep continuing on to study it, to 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 feel or to understand the the mindset of of the per, of the person or the people in in question and. It is not so much about morality as it is in history, but um, the the good place is all about morality. And whether or not you are good or bad, it does still beg the question: How do we know when two extremes meet? When you are both good and bad? Like, what if you do everything in balance? What happens then? You know. I just feel like there is a lot of good room for debate for for these type of things especially because of of like it it, it doesn't say any one religion you know is is more of a general thing like if you do enough good then you become uh, then you go to the good place or if you do enough or if you do a lot of bad things then you would go to the bad place but how do we measure it like you know, for Christians, it's all about sin, and for you know, a lot of religions, it's all about sin. But 
again, what is what is a sin? What is you know what is considered to be repentance? Because repentance can mean a lot of things. If you repent on something and then you repeat it, does that remove your repentance? Does it remove your 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 idea of wanting to repent it? Consider consider Bojack, right? Bojack Horseman. He did a bad thing and he wanted to move on, but Di- but but Diane brought it back. You know, she is the instigator. She is, in this case, I would equate her to Trevor, from the Good Place. Um, she she was she was the instigator, and she then made him feel bad again, or or made him want to relapse into a whole lot more of drugs. So, where do we draw the line between? instigators or our temptation or, or whatever you want to call it um that's the crux of of the good place um season two was more of the more of michael trying to to, to up the ante but uh you know then uh, vicky kind of took over which i i thought was pretty weird but i i kind of understood it uh and i think it's episode two i'm sorry Th- this is season three episode two i I don't know why I said episode nine, but uh, yeah, this is this is what I I mean by side checks. Um, this is what I mean by how how much good does good really do? Because some good is not perfectly good. Because th- th- that that is just life. It is all about moral grays. There is no absolutes, is what I'm trying to say here. So, the good place does dive into more of that a little bit, uh, and it is a bit dry at times. But I do feel the comedy does work in in a lot of things. But um, this this episode in particular, I felt that the comedy was trying too hard. Um, but again, um, it may just be because they're they're excited to be back. Who knows? Um, but I do. I do still enjoy the series, I do still see that they do bring up a lot of contention for for grounds of argument, you know. Um, And this is all our lives are, you know, it's about arguing why our lives can be improved and why our lives can, can make a difference in somebody else's because yes, maybe, you know, uh, an act of kindness can make more kindness but then what does that essentially mean? Does that essentially mean the person who who enacts the act of kindness is doing it out of moral desert? No, maybe not. Or if it is, then does that consider him a bad person for wanting to be good? Again, grounds for a lot of debate. So yeah, I, I do really enjoy the the good place for those reasons it brings up a lot of ideal ideas and ideals that that has to be talked about that has to be really dived in and saying okay like this is this is bad but there is also some good coming out of it because for every bad thing there is good that's why you know there is a lot of thing a lot of things to be balanced out of and i think buddhism talks about truth you know you seek truth it all you can because if you don't have the truth you cannot move forward in life even if the truth is is bad even if even if the truth makes you sad even if the truth hurts somebody else what does that mean you know and that's why that's why i i, I thought to myself in the first episode that you know but th- when they, they say like uh, all religions got like five percent right i feel like buddhism has as a bit of more of it right because buddhism has a lot to deal with ethics as well like duty to to your your parents and then other things in life you know nature uh, the environment, um, you know, your your fiscal, uh, your fiscal responsibilities, your 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 family responsibilities, and I think, and I think that joins up and says the path 
to nirvana or the path to a higher ascension is always 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 find the best route in life which coincides with the truth you have seen right so I, I think that in itself is very ethical no matter what cost that truth comes out of and I I know that sounds unethical but the truth of it is it is ethical because there is always a certain amount of truth that will allow the person to improve on themselves that is in, in fact a consequentialism uh, ethics debate there but hey you know um so yeah i really enjoyed season one and season two that's why i did season three uh season three episode one was uh, pretty good but uh, i i do i think i did enjoy season one the most season two was just okay you know they 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 re rebooted and everything, but I do want to see where the series is going because it's interesting to me that they would do a lot of a lot of the ethics debate here and a lot of philosophy has come about from this as well. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the the reaction below. Uh, please subscribe, uh, like, share, everything, all those good things. Ring the bell for more notifications. And I am on Verand now. I don't do um, reactions on YouTube anymore because they are copyright claiming everything. So I'm not going to be doing um, reactions here anymore. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see full reactions, the link is in the uh, description below. I don't, I don't want to to say like i don't want you guys to think like i'm on only in this for the money i do want to share my love of all the tv shows and everything so that's why i don't do like the patreon request or whatever uh any any other show you would want to, want me to react to go ahead and put it uh, in the comments below say anything you know give give yourself i give you the voice you know you are the people uh, and the people get the choice uh, so yeah go ahead and uh, give me suggestions uh, insult me hey it's all up to you so thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you guys uh, in the next episode which is going to be the man in the high castle which is why I brought up Adolf Hitler a lot because we will be uh, react I will be reacting to um, the band and the high castle and that is another interesting uh series which i will talk about later so see you guys then